Hello friends. This is Social Networking Sites Tutorial Series, by using PHP script with Ajax, and in this part, we will create autocomplete text box, for searching friends under this system, by using PHP with Ajax jQuery. In this feature, user has to type under this search text box, for find new friends, so when user has type, then they can get enter query suggestion below this search text box, so this feature, we have to make under this part. For this, we have go to header.php file, and here, we have write form tag, with class is equal to novba form and novba left. Under this form tag, we have write division tag, with class is equal to input group. Under this division tag, we have write input type is equal to text, class is equal to form control, id is equal to search bar, user can enter find new friends query, under this text box. For search button, here we have write division tag, with class is equal to input group button. And under this tag, we have write button tag, with class is equal to button and button default class, with type is equal to submit, so it will make submit button, for submit search query data. After this, for display auto complete friends suggestion data, here we have create one more division tag with id is equal to country list, with style is equal to position absolute, with set to 235 pixel, and z index property set to 1001. So friends, here we have already login into system, and now, we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see that search text box has been appear in navigation bar. And under this text box, user can enter find new friends suggestion query. Here we have already create footer.php file, and we have go to footer.php file, and here we want to write Ajax script for make auto suggestion search text box. For this, here we have write dollar with text box id search bar with key up method. So when we have typed something under text box, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write query variable is equal to dollar this with value method. This code will fetch the value of search bar text box and store under query variable. Below this, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write query variable value is not equal to blank. This condition will check if query variable has blank, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write, dollar with division tag id country list, with html method, and under this, we have write blank, so it will remove all the content of this tag. But suppose query variable has some value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have start write ajax request, with first option url set to search action.php, so it will send request to this file. In second option, 
we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option, we have to define which data, we want send to server, so here we have send query variable value, has been sent to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function will be called, if Ajax request complete successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write dollar with division tag id country list, with HTML method, and under this, we have write data, so it will load this data variable HTML content under this division tag. Now we have go to search action.php file, and here we have write include statement, with database connection.php, it will make database connection on this page. Below this, we have again write include statement, with function.php, here include statement will copy all the content of function.php, to this search action.php. Next, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post query variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar search query variable is equal to preg replace function with three parameter. Under first condition parameter, we have write this condition in replace parameter, we have write blank value and in string parameter, we have write dollar post query variable. So this code will remove all special character and white space from search query. Below this, we have write dollar search array variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument, we have write space and in second argument, we have write dollar search query variable. This function will convert string to array. Now we want to add bold tag in each index of array. For this, here we have write dollar replace array variable is equal to array map function with two argument. In first argument, we have write wrap tag function, which we have to make in function.php file and dollar search array variable this code will add bold tag in each array of index first we have go to function.php and here we have make wrap tag function with dollar argument as parameter under this function we have write return statement with open bold tag with dollar argument variable and close bold tag so this function will return argument value with bold tag now again we have go to search action.php file and here we have create dollar condition variable with blank value under this variable, we will store where condition like query. Below this, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar search array variable as dollar search variable. Under this loop, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write trim function with dollar search variable value is not equal to blank 
If this dollar search variable value has some value, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar condition variable, and under this, we have append user name like percentage sign, with dollar search variable value, with or statement, so it will make like statement for each array of index. For remove last four character from dollar condition variable value, we have write dollar condition variable is equal to substring function with three parameter. In first parameter, we have write dollar condition variable. In second parameter, we have write zero. And in third parameter, we have write minus four. Now, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select user name from register user table where dollar condition variable value with limit 10. So this select query will search user name under this register user table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method and under this we have write dollar query variable this method will prepare query for execution next we want to execute query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute query now we have write dollar output variable is equal to division tag with class is equal to bootstrap list group. After this, we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with row count method value is greater than zero. Here this method will return number of row affected after query execution if that row is zero then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar output variable and here we have append this html code with text like no result found but suppose their affected number of row is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with fetch all method as dollar row variable this fetch all method will return query execution result under this loop we have write dollar temp text variable is equal to dollar row user name variable so here we have store user name data under this local variable now here we want to display text bold which has been matched with user enter query for this here we have write dollar temp text variable is equal to string i replace function with three parameter in first parameter, we have write dollar search array variable. In second parameter, we have write dollar replace array variable. And in third parameter, we have write dollar temp text variable. So this function will convert match text to bold text. After this, we have write dollar output variable. And here we have append HTML code like anchor tag with ref is equal to hashtag class is equal to list group item and in anchor text we have write dollar text variable so on every loop it will append code in this dollar output variable.
Now we want to send this dollar output variable data to Ajax request. So for this, here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. So it will send data to Ajax request. After this, we have go to footer.php file, and here we have write dollar document selector with on method, and under this, we have write click event with list group item class. So when we have click on any list of search result, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar with text box id search bar with value method and under this we have write dollar this with text method so it will get the text of clickable row and it will assign that text to search bar text box after this we want to remove auto complete search result so here we have write dollar with division tag id country list with fade out method this method will remove content of country list division tag from web page so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends first we have refresh web page after refresh of web page here we can see search text box in navigation bar from this text box we can find or search friends from this system so for search friends here we have start type under this search text box after type first character here we can get the search suggestion below this text box here in search suggestion we can see character which has been matched with user query character has been bold and other character in normal now we have click on any search suggestion then that row text has been appear in search text box and auto complete suggestion result has been removed from web page so in this social networking project we have added this search auto complete text box feature by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. And by using this feature, when user has typed something in search text box, then they can get the entered query suggestion result on web page. Lastly, in next part, we will learn how to display search result on web page.